Are there health risks associated with vegetarian diets? Well, I suppose there's a couple of things that people need to be careful of if they're uh, transitioning their cats or dogs onto vegetarian diets. Two things. Firstly, we need to make sure that the diets are nutritionally complete and reasonably balanced. So that means either uh, purchasing one of the uh, ready-made diets from a commercial supplier or else uh, just purchasing one of the nutritional supplements and mixing this into a homemade diet. Uh, they, they can take a lot more time and effort to create. They, they can sometimes work out cheaper perhaps. Um, either way, people have got to make sure that uh, the diet is nutritionally complete and reasonably balanced. So that's the first point. The second point is that Sometimes when animals uh, swap from a meat base to a vegetarian diet, the urine can become more alkaline. And in a small proportion of animals, particularly male cats, there is a risk that this may predispose to crystals forming in the urine. Sometimes these can come to give it a form tiny stones and slightly bigger stones, and they can actually block up the urethral outflow, causing a major problem. So uh, what I recommend that people do is actually uh, check the acidity of the urine. I'll talk about how to do that in a moment. But check the acidity of the urine uh, when they start off um, to, to get a baseline level, perhaps uh, every week initially and long term, perhaps every two to four weeks to just see if the, if the urine is starting to become a bit more alkaline. Uh, if the urine is starting to become a bit more alkaline, then there's a range of dietary additives uh, starting off very weak, going up to very strong that people can add in to make sure the, the urine doesn't become uh, too alkaline. How do people actually check the acidity of the urine? Well, there are actually several methods. There is actually some cat litter that you can buy that changes colour according to the acidity of the urine. So that's very interesting. It's not widely available in, in many countries, but I have seen it advertised particularly in the US. So I would recommend if people can get hold of that, if that to be used as a sort of a crude initial indicator, I wouldn't rely upon it for fine tuning. For more fine tuning, there's two options. One is uh, uh, collecting a urine sample and putting a little, tet, uh, a little litmus test strip, a little paper strip into the urine which changes colour according to the acidity. You can buy those perhaps from pet stores, certainly from veterinarians. The most accurate way and really the recommended way is to actually get a pH meter. Uh, people buy these for measuring the acidity of, of fish tanks for example. So to collect the urine from a cat or a dog can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Dogs are often quite easy. You can collect simply a foil baking tray and shove it underneath your dog when it's urinating and try and collect a sample that way. For cats, you can actually buy non-absorbent cat litter, which is little white plastic beads from your veterinarian. Uh, put it into a clean, dry kitty litter tray. Uh, make, wait until the cat urinates in it. You might need to um, confine your cat with the litter tray for a period of time collect a urine sample and then you can run tests on it that way. So it is important to monitor the acidity of the urine on a regular basis. Very small proportion of animals ever have any problems like this, but because the problems are potentially serious if they do happen, I do recommend that people take it seriously and do try and monitor the acidity of the urine on a regular basis, particularly for male cats.